Catalan, you, you are part of a ministry, Ministry exactly. of Economy. Completely different. Completely situation. different, very different. Um, yes. And I guess there's, there's two sides to that. We'll get into stakeholder management in a minute, but on this note, on, on um, you know, shaping the value proposition, um, say you were to identify in your research that you know, there's a shortage of certain skills in Hungary, not implying yes. there is, but let's say you need um, for, for IT development centers, you need certain amounts of programmers. Does it help to be part of a ministry to, to somehow address that shortcoming? Whether it helps or not, I, I really don't know. I, I cannot answer it. And uh, we, we even don't have a so uh, long history to, to be able to, to give any uh, information. But uh, what we can do and what we really do is uh, that uh, we channel all, all those uh, problems, all those shortages all those obstacles, uh, what uh, we hear from the companies, uh, right to the ministry, right to the decision makers. Um, we were lucky even to modify some, some uh, um, just to give you an example, we did have a, a quite a, a big role in uh, uh, establishing the conditions of one of the of one of the state subsidies because we, we pointed out that the structure was only good for the manufacturing industry and it was completely uh, not ref uh, uh, re re sorry relevant to the to the service sector and they did change so I, I think we do have some role okay so I mean even not that significant as the other colleagues or from that aspect but still we do. I guess yes. it's, it's a dual-edged sword, you know, organizations such as Copenhagen Capacity have a lot of autonomy yes. because they're, yes. uh, the way they're set up, it's almost private sector, whereas you're closer to the ministry, which probably implies greater control, but also exactly. that more direct access to the yes. people who are in, in yes. positions to change things. Yes. Yes. Um, on a slightly different note, but um, something that I always find is, is very important is the balance, especially in terms of resource and spending between what you could call promotion and what you could call sales. And Paul, you had on your one of your slides the fact that you do both. You have an agency doing PR and advertising, and you, you showed some of your campaigns, and you're also doing proactive sales. Um, what's the balance between those? Uh, the balance is always towards the, the sales. Um, and the reality is that uh, we tend to use and rely heavily on partners to do the marketing work, and we will then sort of slipstream some of that activity. Um, so I showed you the growth of the campaign. That's been funded by the county council, but it actually has massive benefits for us in terms of being able to uh, use that from an investment perspective. Uh, and also, because they will then be rolling that out into different locations, uh, I mean, in, in effect, uh, they pay for, for a large part of the work that we <coughs> normally have to do ourselves. So we then tend to divert all our effort uh, and our resource onto the sales, onto lead generation, 